you, you have multiple choices, and all the plans are based on metal tiers now, starting at a platinum level plan, then it goes to a gold, goes to silver, then bronze, and if you're under 30, you can get a catastrophic plan. So, and each one of those, there's up to, you know, 10 plans. So the average Iowan, when they go look, they're going to have about 40 options to look at. Uh, the platinum is going to be the most expensive premium, uh, and the bronze is going to be the cheapest premium. But what we've been telling folks is, look at your total financial out-of-pocket. In the event that your preventative services, your chronic management services, are, you know, those are going to be covered without deductibles and co-pays. But once you go in beyond that, you're going to be on the hook for something, whether it's deductible, co-pay, co-insurance. So you might want to look at the bronze as the cheapest per month, but it's going to have the highest out-of-pocket in the event you actually use the insurance. Okay, so it sounds like there's lots of options. If I have, for example, diabetes and my spouse has, um, say, a heart condition, is this going to get really complicated? Am I going to be able to figure this out? You'll be able to figure it out, but it is going to be complicated. That's why, you know, we we're telling people to talk to a navigator, talk to an insurance agent, talk to a certified counselor, talk to someone who can help you get through this process. Uh, you know, what we've been telling folks, too, is, you know, if you don't like your plan, you can switch next year as well. So mm -hmm. in other words, some of these plans have been more narrow in network, which is tailored to maybe one set of providers. Some are very wide in network. So that varies to the cost as well. But if you're in a plan you don't really like, there's no more gear, you know, underwriting for medical conditions. For, so there are no pre-existing conditions. Mm -hmm. So you can always switch next year. Uh, so let's say I work for a private employer and I have a, a huge deductible, but my, in, my uh, private employer is paying for my insurance. Would it be cheaper for me to go in there to find an insurance plan rather than be covered by my employer? It may be. Uh, you know, it gets complicated because your right. employer contribution and then your contribution would be tax, you know, pre-tax. But it could be for some folks. The issue would be whether or not you would qualify for a tax credit. If you have access to affordable coverage, which mm -hmm. is determined as 9.5% of your income or less, and that plan that they've offered you is minimum value, which is 60% actuary value, which is the bronze level if you're in the marketplace. If you have access to that, then you would not qualify for a tax credit. But that doesn't mean you couldn't look and you couldn't, you could still shop and look. No, and Kay, I think one of the misperceptions about the exchange is that it's um, for low income or it's for um, uninsured. And really, there are a lot of self-employed people out there that are your neighbors that have been dealing with problems with getting individual health care for years.